it's interesting because I feel like in the early 2000s, there was this huge kind of rap rock sort of mix renaissance. Definitely. Linkin Park, who I know you're a huge fan yeah, of, one yeah. of your first concerts, right? Yeah. It was Linkin Damn. Park. This dude really and, is like Nardwar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And yeah. I know you're a huge Linkin Park fan, yeah. and, I, and I can see like the influence of Linkin Park in, in this type of this type of yeah, album sure. and this music. Yeah. And now I feel like there's kind of this new renaissance of it almost. I mean, looking at even just a couple albums that just recently dropped, like, for example, Lil Yachty's Lil Yachty, um, yeah, Let's yeah. Start Here with that really psychedelic rock style, which, by the way, I mean, anybody that hasn't listened to that album yet, Amazing. like, don't yeah. be who I like am and was like, oh, Lil Yachty, like, there's no, no way this album could be good. I heard it was good, and I'm like, wait, no chance. Freaking listen to this thing. Not only is it the best Lil Yachty album I've ever heard, but it's easily one of my favorite albums this year. And even just uh, recently, I don't know if you've heard, but uh, Slow Tie's new album, Ugly, came out, and that's all rock style. Bringing that rock influence into rap, like, I feel like that hasn't really been a super prevalent thing in the mainstream for, like, quite a long time. Nah, and definitely. so was that something that was conscious on your mind coming into this album, or was that something that you really weren't paying much attention to? It, um, it, it was something that I started noticing as I was making the album. Um, Cause I mean, probably like you, I didn't listen to Yachty that much no. beforehand, you know? Um, I've never been a Yachty fan. Yeah. Nah, me neither. Um, but yeah, it, w- it was just an idea I had. And then as I was like working on it, I was like, wow, I'm definitely not like on an Island here. There's, there's be, I mean, even Cardi with whole lot of red, I think rock definitely hit a low cause everything just kind of sounded the same. You know, there was no like new way to go and hip hop was really coming into its own. Yeah. Cause I feel like with the Lincoln Park and Corn and Limp Biscuit, that was like rock dudes doing rap music. Sure. Whereas this is like rap artists doing rock music. So right. There's that influence, but it's it's different. You know. And it's not that rap artists haven't tried because no, Lil, def- Lil Wayne tried. Yeah, yeah. And Lupe I, had a song on one of his albums that. Yeah. yeah. Wayne tried it. Cuddy tried it, and it didn't really work either way for those guys. No, nah, I th- I think the the Cuddy album time will. We'll tell that that was a really good album. You think so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think it'll age better than yeah, it? yeah, yeah. I, 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 I think there's people, not me specifically, but I think there's definitely like the Uzis and uh, Travis Scott that sure. probably heard that album and were like, and I know like Andre Three Thousand loves that album. If he ever releases music, maybe that will be yeah, you know. <laughs> well, Outcast, that's my that's my uh, big that's my like, all time yeah, favorite. That's my favorite rap group ever. 